Welcome to Channel It Resolves, where we play a different deck list every video. I'm Country Pride, and today we're going to be playing Orzhov Control. Let's take a look. Alright guys, so I wanted to revisit Orzhov Control. It's just kind of a tried and true package. We're going to take a quick look at it right now, and then you guys can hop into the game, and then we'll cover it again over the outro, kind of more in depth. But uh, we got a removal package. It was good before uh, Brothers War came around. I don't even, we're not even running anything Brothers War in here that I'm aware of, other than uh, Go for the Throat. But uh, we have Cut Down, we have Fateful Absence, Go for the Throat, Right right of Oblivion, Path of Peril, and Invoke Despair. Kind of as our removal package. Uh, we got some draw package. I, I am putting Wedding Announcement down as part of the draw package because that's what we're trying to do is attack him with more than one creature so we get to draw off the Wedding Announcements. And we've also got the Reckoner Bank Buster, and it's also working with Invoke Despair draws as well. Our creature package is just a strong creature package. There are creatures that are just super annoying or super hard to get rid of. They're not, you know, overly powerful or anything like that. But over time, they drag out and they start doing a lot of damage on the board if they can't effectively take care of these creatures creatures and with that we've got the uh, tenacious underdog which can crew the reckoner bank buster for us on turn three dropping the uh, tenacious underdog if you've got turn two reckoner bank buster and a tenacious underdog drop reckoner bank buster and then turn three you can drop in tenacious underdog and you can crew your uh, reckoner bank buster to punch in for four our turn three creature drop is a uh, graveyard trespasser and of course this has the ward cost of discarding a card on both sides plus you can start exiling creatures from the graveyard and pinging them for life as well as getting them for the damage and then we got the life gaining drain with shieldred shieldred is one that they absolutely have to answer right away or it just starts the damage that it does over time is just hard to mitigate and uh, it's hard to recover from and then of course edgar edgar is one of my favorite creatures uh, within this package just because it's absolutely horrible to try and get rid of unless you have an exile effect off of it and you'll see in the game how i actually play around some of their exile effects with my own removal to make sure that we're keeping a board state uh so you are only going to get one game in this it is almost i think it's like 45 50 minutes long it was um i guess 100 150 card control deck um but uh you'll see there's all kinds of play style going on within the game, so that's why I went ahead and just chose to go ahead and put this one game in. It's because you're going to see me utilize things differently as we go along, and uh, it just kind of shows off the versatility of the deck and what kind of uh, moves and routes you can take with it. And then our Planeswalker support package is Wandering Emperor for the Flash ability to give us the Samurais, and of course the Exile effect off the negative twos plus the plus one, uh, plus one counters that you can bring in on it. And then, of course, Liliana the Veil usually helps us get our uh, opponent's hand down by making them discard uh, their cards as well as um, being able to keep control of their creatures on their board state because, you know, this the negative two sacrifice effect. And then, of course, our play, uh, our mana package is Iganjo, Seed of the Empire, two planes, nine swamps, one Takanumas, uh, four caves, four Shatter Sanctums, and then four Rafine's Towers because we can cycle these if we don't need them as land to help fix our mana base. And that's just a quick breakdown of the deck list, guys. I'm going to let you get to the gameplay. I hope you guys enjoy the game. I know it's just one, but there's a lot of versatility going on with this deck, and it shows how it can still overcome uh, certain types of matches. And then, of course, we'll uh, just take one last look at this before the outro or at the outro. And then, of course, we'll sign out. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Until then, stay safe, be happy and healthy. Much love. Peace. We'll see. We're on the draw. Mm, we got a little bit of board control. Turn three, some removal. Yeah, we'll keep it. So... Playing Esper or a Demir control. Demir. Oh, playing some four color stuff. All right. So we're looking at bindings and there's some removal we'll need. Uh, are they running counters? Should we leave removal open? I don't know. I think we got to kind of try to advance. 
kind of want wedding announcement more than trespassers, so let's see what they're running. Okay, no counters. That's good. We have to advance. If we don't, then it just leaves them to build their hand, which is ridiculous. At least this has a ward cost, even if they are going to remove it. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, put Rafines down. Attack in. I'm going to go ahead and move to get it on the board. If I knew they weren't running removal or counters, then I probably would have played wedding announcement first. However, the value of wedding announcement over trespasser for me is kind of bigger. So I definitely wanted to test the waters. Hopefully they just end up stuck on lands. Urza Silex, so pay four, exile, each player chooses six lands they control, destroy all other permanents, activate only as a sorcery. When it's put into exile from the battlefield, you may pay two. If you do, search your library for a Planeswalker card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and then shuffle. Oh, Jesus. Okay. We have nothing else going on here, so we're just going to hold and uh, probably cycle Rafines. We'll play that don't think we have anything at two that I really want to advance into so yeah let's just let this go it flips graveyard trespasser I gotta figure out other things to do now we'll ride of oblivion the silex definitely That's nice. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and take this off the board. We can write, we can attack in, we can ride of oblivion the Silex and play Shieldred, and this shuts down their draw engine off of uh, the Celestis, plus we can get the card draw off of wedding announcement. So, Hmm. Dill, let's get rid of the Silex. They got to come up with some really good answers really fast. Depopulate would be one. We're kind of not on a really good draw right now. We're not pulling into a lot of stuff. I would prefer to be moving a lot faster. They got so many things good in their hand that they don't want to discard anything. Must be nice. see what they were rolling with very nice here okay um yep I'll have to 
grudge. Oh, I've always hated crafts. All right. I like where we're at for this second. We can hold up the removal. I like the fact that we have Liliana to make them start discarding cards too. I don't like the fact that they're playing Earth Eye, but it is what it is. something aren't we all right I run faithful absence as well nothing more fine put that out trespasser putting in some work I wonder if I should get rid of the Celestis Mm, I think we'll draw. That sucks. Okay. We need to shield it off of ours to do an extra point. for a sweeper. I mean, there's got to be something, right? They're running like a five-color control package. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Noise. Go here, submit. Here. Still wondering if I should get rid of that Celestis, man. It's almost hindsight. I don't really want to get rid of Edgar. As if they miss a beat on this next one. <laughs> then it'll uh, close out the game. However, they probably got the mana to finish it off anyway. So let's go ahead and wait and see what happens here. So depending on what they do, they had plenty of mana to do whatever they wanted. that was coming and that is a lot of the wrong stuff man we need to keep going lord
they got another one. Now they're wanting to get rid of artifacts as well. It'd be smart. I just not want to get into a long drawn out control match. Game is boring. I think we're just giga controlled out of our minds now. I think that's going to be the wrap on it. They're definitely going to farewell again here. Just to get rid of the enchantment if they don't have another march. Horrible card. Farewell needs to go away. some better stuff. farewell why not Lord, give me strength, man. There are another exile effects coming out on Edgar. They really got to decide if they want to keep their Celestis. Sure. This is what 
you get for hurting my people. Boring. Um. Sure. See what kind of counters they run. I'm guessing another Urtai. Holy cow. What? see what they do it will help us determine what we're gonna do I'm guessing they're going to get a farewell right now which if that's the case we kind of need to decide are we gonna Emperor at the end of their turn Or should we I think we're going to Emperor. really kind of frustrating. It's a good deck, man. It's just so control heavy. No fun to it. Just, you know, delay, delay, delay. Nobody should play magic but me. And trust me, I like those kind of decks too when I'm playing them not playing against them. So I get it, I get it, I do. Let this be countered, I'm sure. What? Okay, it'll get hit off of something here. I'm guessing there's an Urtai. There's gotta be at least one more Urtai, right? You don't run just a one of on Urtai. I would think there's at least gonna be two. I don't know. We'll see. Sure. Oh, wait. It is their turn. Wait. No, it's our turn. Lit. draw a card interesting got to be sweeper inbound it, no they're definitely going to grab a whole bunch of stuff their marches their farewells their herd migration they're going to grab it all again I hope they just do herd migration. They're down for this stuff bad. <laughs> God, man, this is only going to be one game video. I'm not doing any more of this. This is crazy. I don't even know if we're going to win. I would imagine they're going to pull this off somehow. Uh, probably by boredom. Go ahead and, and yeah. I don't mind that. Thank you for letting me draw a card instead of uh, I, mean, I was going to draw a card off of it either way. Noise. Sure.
Good news about Shigeki is Shigeki can't get Shigeki's back, and Shigeki's don't really, uh... do a, a whole lot with uh, your emperors there in the graveyard. So I know they're going to pop herd migration and they're just going to be ecstatic about it. That's fine. We'll have something for them. Hopefully they don't have an Urtai to counter it. That's the thing. Should have gotten rid of the Celestis. Should have totally gotten rid of the Celestis. It's the only thing keeping them in this. Give me another invoke. Let me call upon my forefathers. Don't have an Urta. We have all the removal in all the world. Hmm, we could get Shouldered back. We're at 20, they're at 62. Good Lord. How many cards did you play, bro? Oh my God. No wonder this is just like a shit sandwich. All right. They did get Shigeki back. <laughs> Damn it. the shielders one because they're still holding that march so i'm thinking oh, probably liliana maybe emperor See if they mess it up. I probably should have just went 
to go straight straight to the face for him. We could go go for the throat on our own. We could also cut down our own. I need to go to farewell to get rid of the graveyards. However, in doing so, they really wrecked their own graveyard. They had an Urza. I don't see it in hand yet. Okay. We're going to be sending six at them. So if we get six and an invoke, and they don't get the removal for it. That would be wonderful. Uh, they're gonna gain two more life here, so. Damn it. Teferi is being an absolute pain. I really gotta get rid of Teferi. I also gotta watch for Urza. Sure. God, man. The Celestis. I should have gotten rid of the Celestis. This is painful, man. This is like seriously some of the most painful crap ever. Let's see if they got an air tie. No air tie is good. Let's see if they run March of Wretched Sorrows. So I'm not too terribly worried about this. Oh, there we go. Yep. Getting rid of that damn Celestis, man. Thing's pissing me off. Um. Probably should have crewed the bank buster on that, but I'm guessing they have. Well, they're going to use their march. So 
now on three. turn there we'll have the uh, underdog to come out as long as they don't hit our graveyard we can draw off the bank buster here depending on what they do we'll have the 2-2 two -two with vigilance the samurai we could drop in the emperor and we can crew with the other underdog do we have it Four, eight, nine, ten. Well, one away. One away. See what they got going on. Mm. If we do this and we drop that in, we've still got five open mana. We're still okay with this. Get the extra point in here. Strike fast and strike hard. We drop this in, that's gonna leave us down to two. So we gotta leave this open. Damn it. Alright, that's fine. We can use our token, our investigation token, if we absolutely need it. Hopefully, they just got one. Either way, all we really need to do here is get in with our group and then drop Graveyard Trespasser and rob the graves. Good Lord, man. Longest game ever. I'm really happy if we pull this off. If not, I wouldn't be horribly surprised, but I mean, we damn near went through our entire deck trying to finish this game out. Um, sure. It's not going to save you, buddy. Not going to do it. Let's see what you got. If it's another Sunset Revelry, man. Jesus Christ. Can we just finish this game, please? For the love of... Please. Uh... Sure. We really can't be drawing any more cards. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's that. Um, we can't. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that'd be it. Go here. Here, here, 
Let's take his Pigaki. Good game. Good game. Alright. There you guys go. Orzhov control beating in a, I'm guessing, a 150 card deck or 100 card deck. Anyways. <laughs> GG's, man. GG's. So, yeah, anyways. We're playing a lot of Mardu Angels on the uh, channel right now. I am, anyways, um, just because I'm having a lot of fun with it. And we're taking it at the best of three with our uh, with our lives um, this week before the holidays and stuff. Uh, but uh, I just wanted to dish up something different. So there you go, Orzov Control. What a match. You only get one today. I'm sorry, but there you go. Uh, happy holidays to all you guys. We hope to see you on the live streams. If not, stay safe, be happy and healthy. Much love peace we'll see you in the outro what's up guys just a quick break from the video to remind you that through the end of december we will have our new proxy pack available via our patreon rewards and select tiers in celebration of phyrexia all will be one coming early next year we have the amazing original praetors as our patreon rewards this month now those include my all-time favorite card elish norn with jenga taxis shieldred and vorinclex Again, if you're interested in picking these up, guys, we really would appreciate the support, and it's a great way to pick up these awesome proxies every single month. You can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. Without further ado, though, let's jump right back into the video. All right, guys, there you go. There was gameplay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So, yeah, the Orzov control package is still a really good package. I think um, when we get Phyrexia, all will be one. Um, it's going to become even better. Uh, I think Ride of Oblivion is probably going to go up in value and use after... Uh, the new release comes out and i just kind of wanted to take it out because i miss it um it's just an old solid package now you could probably tighten this up by you know um basically focusing more on go for the throats and cut downs rather than faithful absence but i like having the planeswalker removal possibilities in there um you could also possibly uh pump up right of oblivion nothing says you need the sweeper with path of peril um it's just there in case if you run into an aggro matchup you could go to the fourth invoke despair you can kind of even tighten up the creature package and go for trespassers uh four tenacious underdogs and maybe drop down to a second shieldred and then just a second liliana um but i mean it's a Super versatile package you can do it however you want to this is just the package that i put together just because i like having a lot of spot removal possibilities and a lot of game control even when i'm trying to run some type of aggro as well and that's why it's orzov control but there is a whole bunch of board state control within this there's a lot of card draw going on even though it doesn't look like it it does get a lot of card draw going on and uh yeah it just showed uh what kind of legs it's got with that game and i was really proud of the well not really proud i was just happy with the game one happy that we won but uh two i was happy that we got to showcase a lot of different types of uh lines of play throughout the gameplay with it as well so uh there it is guys there's wars off control i hope you guys enjoyed it and until next time stay safe be happy and healthy much love thank you guys for watching the video i hope you guys truly really enjoyed it we'll see you next time peace